This is going to be a video tutorial on how to sign a PDF using Mozilla Firefox. Let me uh, jump over to Firefox here. Okay, I have the Mozilla Firefox web browser open now. To sign a PDF using the Firefox browser, it's very easy to do. First thing you want to do is open your PDF in the Firefox browser. There's a couple different ways you could do that. Probably the easiest way is to place your PDF in a folder. I have my PDF that I want to sign in this folder right here. And then all you have to do is uh, I'm going to hold down the left mouse button. I'm going to drag over and I'm just going to drop it on this web page here. I'm going to let go of it. Now there is my PDF uh, opened in the web page. Another way that you could open a PDF in the Firefox browser is to go to the PDF. You can right click on the PDF. You can go down to where it says open with. Then I'm going to go straight off to the uh, right side here and you could choose the Firefox browser. If you don't see Firefox within uh, these uh, apps right here, you can go down to the bottom and you can click on choose another app and you can search for the uh, Firefox app. But uh, the easiest way to do it is just to drag across and drop into your browser. To sign the PDF, uh, Firefox has recently added some uh, tools up here in the upper right hand corner. This is when you're working with a PDF in the browser. Uh, these tools have been added. In the tools, the first tool is a uh, print. You could click on this uh, icon here to print your uh, PDF. You can click on the second icon to save your PDF if you've made changes. The third icon is a typing uh, text icon. The next icon is like a digital signature icon. And then there's some arrows off to the right here. If you click on those arrows, it gives you a few more options. You can rotate your uh, PDF. Gives you all kinds of options here. Page scrolling, horizontal scrolling. But with the one we want to use, either the uh, text typing tool or the uh, pen tool. I'm going to click on the pen tool here. And below it, when you click on it, you can change the color. I have my color set to black. I'm going to click on this color box here. And off to the left hand side you get a uh, little color palette opens up. You could select one of these colors within here. You could select one of these colors just by clicking in this box you could select the color. You could type in an RGB color, a hue. I'm just going to leave it black. Now I'm going to begin writing. I'm going to hold down my left mouse button. And I'm going to do the best I can to make my signature here. I'm going to make a little dot here. Then my last name. This ain't going to be pretty, but it's never going to be. Now I'm going to go off to the right here, and you can increase the thickness. I'm going to move this slider here, and it increases the thickness. I'm just going to leave it about like that. You could reduce the opacity if you want. I'm going to move this slider down to reduce the opacity. About like that there. If you don't like what you've did, and I, I haven't saved it yet, all you need to do is go up and hit the refresh button and it will erase it. A warning will pop up saying uh, stay on this page or leave page. I'm going to click on leave page because I want to erase it. Now it's back to the original. Say that I wanted to uh, type my signature. I'm going to go up to the right hand corner and I'm going to click on the uh, text tool. Now I'm going to go down to my line. I'm going to left click. And then I'm going to type my name. Now say I want my name to be a, a bigger text here. I'm going to go back off to the right side and I'm going to increase the size of my text. I'm going to have it about right, right about like that. And now to save this, if I wanted to save it like this, I'm going to go up to the save icon. That's the second icon. If you pl place your mouse cursor over it, it says save. I'm going to click on that. It'll ask me 
in the dialog box that opens up, it'll ask me if I want to rename it. I'm not going to rename it. I'm going to, I'm going to save the original one. Save it over the original one. I'm going to click on save. And now if I go back to my folder here and I double click on the uh, PDF that I just saved this on, this is going to open it in Adobe Acrobat and there's my signature right there. That is how you add a signature to a PDF using Mozilla Firefox. Thanks for watching.